time to dally. I'd love to, thanks. No one back home will ever believe this. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. All right. What now? Wits and blades always sharp. Okay, now, now she moved. Is that blood? No, never mind. Okay, she has stepped out of the window. Falling out of windows seems to be like a thing, thing in Baldur's Gate as well. Cracking wall to prison. Nice. And there's a person who escaped from the prison. They were a path. I, I don't know what the path leads, but I saw the. Um, okay, now it works. Okay, no slapstick. So this is Wormshrock prison. And thing is, why why we uh, why I used my character to cast the spell is that a warlock regain the spell slots during the short rest. Now we don't have a. We don't have a rogue with us. And Out of sight. Out of mind. At the ready. And this is basically a one way. No? Yes? So, fast party swap. Let's get the rogue with us. Because otherwise the jailbreak is... is okay, now, now we can go to the camp. Jailbreak might be a bit pretty hard with, uh, with uh, just uh, people who want to bash, <laughs> bash the other's head, head in. You might as well lock the cell. You're too late. It's over. It's never over. The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk. Empty as a stair. A tadpole's puppet. Okay, maybe Nothing this is a scene that we should have been seeing before. Spoken accusations, apostasy, conspiracy, sedition. I will soon be hanged on the city gallows to a chorus of cheers. You might have unlocked my cell, but there's no escape from this place. Actually, there's there's a hole in the wall. Then, and there is hope yet. 
Okay, so we rescued him, so no now she, she comes with us without any roles. Lead me from my cell. Escort me out of Worms Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Well done. Lead the way. <laughs> I'm not helping you. What, what's the point of this uh, choice here? This is far enough. Okay, that, that worked. The way should be clear. I can't thank you enough. For getting me out yep. of that damn prison. And for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. When the flames roared loudest, you pulled me to safety. Most would have let me burn. I won't forget it. I will travel to the upper city, find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. Okay, Astarion approves. As long as the city stands, I will stand. I don't really understand that guy, this but yeah, my sure. Point. Iron Gate. The statue before you bears a familiar likeness. It is Balduran, the celebrated adventurer who founded the city of Baldur's Gate. Peril. Floods my province. The palisades fall. The earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm, deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent. Should my domain drown in torment? Be you the deluge, turn away. Be you the hero, answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic nonsense. There is no worm and no savior. The Emperor is quite certain that there is no worm. Although he is he's from Baldur's Gate, so it's, it's a legend to him. spirit within the statue. Powerful variant of magic mouth has been cast on it, allowing it to speak only recorded messages. Magical mouth. Ancient Ansor, hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. How old is this place? Hmm, I'll take that. So judgment. So we have uh, some kind of puzzle, riddle, dungeon that we need to solve. Okay. Face my tests. Prove your worth. Yep. Paintings hung on the wall. Almost like an art gallery. Chamb Chamber of Justice. Seems simple enough. The apple. The painting depicts a red-haired man stealing a shiny apple from a cart in an open-air market. You know this market, the Wide, where Baldur's Gate citizens and visitors gather to conduct trade and wax political. The Child. A red-haired man is portrayed with his cloak's hood lowered, giving an apple to a smiling urchin. Several other children are huddled behind the one receiving the apple, hands outstretched. Hmm. The in 
abduction. A red-haired man is depicted in hushed conversation with a dark-haired woman. She wears a cloak with an unusual symbol on it, tally marks totaling the number nine. Nine. All right, yeah, in the have some writing here. Seven might not be the holy holy number in in Phaedron. The theft. A red-haired man is depicted in the Hall of Wonders, thieving what looks to be a priceless artifact. It's an astrolabe of entrapment. It could hold a dozen gin within it, perhaps even more. Chase. A red-haired man is depicted running through the city streets, a flaming fist officer chasing just behind. A cloaked woman, hair dark as a raven, looks on from a safe distance. The Judgment. A stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. Shrouded sentence. Yeah, it looks like a curse. I'll fix that. Yeah, it, it looked <laughs> looked like one. Okay, so the hanging. A red-haired man is depicted hanging from a gallows as a crowd looks on. You notice a child in the crowd, a falling tear leaving a trail on his cheek. Got a long road ahead. Freedom. A red haired man walks the streets of Baldur's Gate, clad in a billowing cloak. You catch a glimpse of a sly smile beneath his hood and a golden coin in his hand. Let's see what this does. The cell. A stern prison guard slides a warm meal into the thief's cell. The red-haired man has a ten-day left to serve, judging by the scratchings on the wall behind him. Debating judgment. Hanging freedom, the cell. The hanging freedom or the cell. The apple, the child. Induction, the theft. The chase. The judgment. Okay, I can pick, pick this up. Need to find a way forward. Judge and apply 
died Lex Talionis. The principle of the sentence being proportional to the crime. Okay. Not as bad as it You are a paragon of justice. Proceed. I call it this common sense. <laughs> paragon of justice. Meh, not, not really. Double ear doors, probably not. Door. Door. Always room for more. The Indiana Jones Bridge. Camp champ chamber of inside, okay. So it's it's a, it's basically a, it's a maze. It, it's a, it's a maze. And what's the here? This feels like a Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, chamber of Courage, my kind of place. A champion burns bright. Even when rushing waters and moaning winds threaten to extinguish the flames, take the torch, withstand the elements, prove your courage. Absorb elements. Ouch. Well, this is <laughs> bothersome fight. Immune to prone, okay. So there's lots of ice around and it causes the slapstick. Water myrmidon, okay. Ouch, critical hit. Can't use can't use reaction shocked. Ah, well, they are kicking our asses. There would be uh, some three carry, which we could actually use in this. 
Okay, we are getting way too much damage. Okay, no, please, <laughs> no friendly to fire. And also, I forget to rage. Which would have been like totally good thing. Okay, water elemental is down. Let's focus on the weaker Myrmidon. Funny thing with uh, with uh, these arrows is that original Dungeons and Dragons didn't have a wide variety of of the different kind of crossbow bolts or and stuff. So there's like several uh, rule changes and little tweaks that many many. Many player groups have actually adapted from this Baldur's Gate 3 game. <laughs> Multi attack on Gale, ouch! Mental warp. Yeah, this crazy fight. Uh, I think we are losing. Okay, so it was timed. Now we are like... Totally messed up. Whole group. Can, can we do... I wonder. Can we, can we do the... Full rest here? Oh, go to camp. Yes, yes we can. Yes we can. And we can also change the party. Very nice. And for example, long rest. Yeah, it always did in pen and paper, um, Dungeons and Dragons, it always used the resource, which is time. But not all campaigns had a time limit or Game Master Spotter to track it. So now it, you can see it's actually taking some, yeah, some resource to actually to actually go and rest the, rest the whole party. So basically, uh, otherwise it was too safe for the party just when they got their asses handed to them, just rest and get, get back to the full full strength. So I wonder what's the next. Oh, should we take the? I mean, we should take the Harry Potter. I oh, know this wasn't the most Harry Potter. Harry Potter was was here, the chest puzzle. Face protects me. 
shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Chamber of Strategy. The path lies before me. Prove your strategic wits. There is but one rule. The Dark King must fall in two moves. Are you a commander of armies? Or a shivering pawn? Fodder for cleverer minds. Lanceboard happens to be a game with which I have more than a passing familiarity. Okay, nice. No. My, My company company companions have a, some some ideas. First. Move your white queen to the upper right corner. Then, move her four squares to the left. The king can only withdraw to one square after the first move, and after the second, has nowhere to retreat. Okay. So, queen, rook, white king. Better not be cursed. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, so if we had Will in our group, he would have like something to say about the justice task. Okay, that's just dirty. Need to re equip my weapons. So what? Okay, now it works. Okay, that this this was easier than I thought when when the gale offered uh, advice. And now we have this maze, I think. Off inside. A flying book. Is this okay? Let's ask guidance from the statue. The leader has the insight to find good counsel. As a war reaches its end. There is one who doesn't advise for the city's prosperity. Find him and strike him down. Alvin Stead. It's quite obvious the larger kingdoms offer benefits for our peoples within. Few chart co copies of earth, it requires sacrifice. If a dragon offers to share its hold, after all, you so you too should, should you seek union. How imperfect should powerful kingdom marches army on your borders? Some friction is inevitable. Citizens' rights might erode, for instance. Lesser issues will be sanded down by the march of time. Such is a praise of peace. Okay. Alvin is not re really a democratic, democratic leader. But I have something to ask. He didn't have a. Uh, hold still, will you? Uh, hold still, will you? by 
Tree of Peace for Lasting Fruit Proceed. Yeah, because it was Peace Console. Now to the Dragon. Dragon Sanctum. With courage does the hero march. Fettered by the taxing chains of fear, a stalwart soul must ever persevere. With insight does the hero choose. Guidance born of ancient wisdom proven. Peace, not strife, the undenied conclusion. With justice does the hero rule. Lead not the guiltless lamb to bloody slaughter. No, cleanse the lion's sins in sacred water. With strategy does the hero scheme. A cunning mind, a hundred steps ahead. Your allies close, your rivals stunned. In Baldurin play. plays the long game, Worthy apparently. You are found. Go forth, hero. Seize your fate. And rise, great worm. Heart of the gate. Okay. Apparently there's this dragon. We are going to save at this point. Okay. Dead. Hell. The great worm is nothing but bone and memories. Well, what do you expect if you leave your pets unfeed it like Thousands of years. What's hiding here? See, it's a bronze dragon. Okay, it's an undead bronze dragon. Or something. presence has stirred me as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer. It's been too long. What? A name I once answered to. A name I did not expect to hear again. Least of all from the mouth of an old friend. Friend. Yes. So, and Emperor Ross Balduran. Stillness. 
Ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear Ansur, enough! I gave you everything, Borderan, and you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness Borderan. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time, you will not escape it. Gale is inspired. Okay. That's, that's, a, that's not a good thing. Can't target undead. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a dragon and it's undead. An undead target is disadvantaged on attack rolls. Yeah, okay, I need to cast this on his disadvantage, but it. He's getting a disadvantage as well. Also, Elementar Warp. Absorb elementals. Ouch. That, that one. Okay, now it ch switched the place. Can't target undead with the blight. all surrounding t creatures so I would take damage from that myself okay I'm, I'm shocked shocking entangle Now it got some damage. Okay. Fading storm. Get get behind cover. Okay. I concentrate blast. That's an extra. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Not enough movement. Oh no. That, that didn't go so well. Again. Fiend slaying. Target must be a fiend, but it's a dra undead dragon. How much? 
How much le less the dragon it should be? Cold? Yeah, sure. Okay, rapid fire. Enough space. Can we? I hope we are enough in cover. Okay, it's blowing up. <laughs> that was that was crazy. Can't target under it, okay. We could f uh, get the elemental to our side. It might have a fire resistance, but let's go with it. Okay, that's decent amount of damage. Let, let, me, let me think what I should can see okay so I was thinking okay she's dashing Spirit Guardians attacking once again. Ouch. Shocking. Ouch. Rage Bra Bear Heart. So she's raging anymore. Just. Dragon with the first, first try. So you are bald, Ren. I was. Now, I am much, much more. But it seems you are more interested in my past. <laughs> 
Such sentimentality. Very well. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to fan Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while to watch my city grow. But it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea cooled to me. And I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. Nice. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness. Called on every healer he could find. Nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. And so still mean, do you always, always die? Delmain's death was not my fault. Ansor's death was born of necessity. And make no mistake, I grieved them both. Ansor, in particular. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Put simply, yes. And being alive even more so. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. One nether stone remains. We must find it before the brain breaks free. Okay. I can't imagine that I would like go against this dragon. Baldur's Giant Slayer. Legendary weapon. Dear Arn answer. I said it thousand times I'll say again there's no cure. The price of this quest, but Helm of Baldurin. within the helm, instilling you with power for as long as you wear it. Heavy head. <laughs> Jail is inspired. Oh no. So, legendary medium armor. Can't land critical hits. You can't be stunned. Plus one to po armor class sa saving throw. Hits you two hit points at the beginning of every turn. Here he is. This was your doing, wasn't it, Karlak? Yep. The destruction of my steel watch. Such a petty vengeance. Those things were evil. Just like their papa. To think I ever worked for you. <laughs> Proudly, too. I never meant to harm you, dear. Merely to help you realize your vast potential. 
You sent me to the hells. You let Zariel take my heart, as though any of it was yours to give away. The greater good, Karlak. Something I wouldn't expect you to understand. You feel no regret, do you? All right. How about fear, then? Oh, you do quite misunderstand. I've already made a deal with your companion. We need each other. Do we now? Never mind that. You ought to reconsider. Divided, the Elder Brain will create an illithid army, yourself included in its ranks. Together, we can tame it. I'm sorry you feel wronged by how things ended between us all those years ago. But now we must look to the future. You Politician. Make it sound like we were lovers. Oh, friends. But that wasn't it. I trusted you. I respected you. It was my job to protect you. And that's what I did. I was so young. I didn't recognize evil when I saw it. When you turned on me, I was too dumbstruck to realize what was happening. No way he'd hurt me, I thought. You betrayed me for reasons I still don't quite understand. But I suppose yeah, kind of like he's angry. Real cause. It just is. Until it isn't. You utter brat. You're going to burn this place down. Yep. Good. No, you have to stop her. Do it now. Oh. Another chair. Come on. Darkness. Okay, Cortas is a big boy now. What are of tyranny? No counter spell, apparently. I'm sorry. Here, but anyway, spirit guardians are doing work. Our work again. We could actually s silence. And let's let's take this hand-to-hand -hand combat. spells for Cortash. Immune to force damage. Too bad.
Okay, no, now he's not silent anymore. Okay, my plan didn't work as well as would, I would have hoped. And Karla killed him. Like she wanted. It's finished. It's done. I need to see him up close. I need to know he's dead. You can have his head. No flesh. Same as the rest of us. You say you say she's working something out, say nothing. I feel like there should be a sunset for me to ride off into. Or an orchestral swell or something. But there's nothing, is there? I killed the bastard who ruined my life, and my cries are that I get to crawl into a corner and die. Am I fucking missing something? I'm beyond overwhelmed. I'm... I'm finished. <sighs> he's dead. And he's no fucking sorrier now than he was before. Yeah. What was the point? I'm still dying. I'm dying. I'm going to die. Say that. So you found some way to fix me. But now Gortash is dead. I'll get my heart back. My heart. It was mine. And they took it. I'm going to be as dead as Gortash any day now. Any moment. And what then? to the city of judgment to waste into oblivion into the dirt to get eaten by maggots is that it for me is that fucking all and you you'll just keep going won't you watching the stars warming your hands on the campfire dancing eating making fucking love all night all of it all of it that's my reward for everything i suffered that's why i survived 10 years of torment <laughs> the fucking loneliness! All of it so I could rot! Because the person I trusted the most gave me away to the devil! Yeah, she has lots <laughs> lots to be angry about. It isn't fair. <laughs> I don't want it like this. <laughs> could try you got a wish spell in that <laughs> wish, wish spell is something you can do lots of things with it in a day the end to the end but i suppose now? there's not many good to go around so yeah let's get out of here i've always hated this place stupid fucking gigantic bridge or whatever <laughs> i think i need to go to camp for a while be alone Scream at the sky. You can come and find me later if you want to. Thanks for listening. For existing. Love you. Or fi fiery friend. Yeah, because the I didn't couldn't find the Cadillac at at the start. Didn't didn't find her in in the beta beta game version back back in the several years back, so I didn't know where she was. So I got her late, and then I uh, didn't have an inferno fire uh, uh, iron to fix her heart. 
so that's why we kind of we got got the first time inferno iron for her heart but for the second checkup that would have fixed the problem uh, well the blacksmith died at the at the, at the shadow place <laughs> tyrannical jacks bo jack boots cloth of authority fabricated tarpalist okay Okay, so she's taking those. Cursed artifact. Always safe. Ah, it, it is a, no, it's a nether stone. So that's what we need. It was on his gauntlet. The last stone. I need to see it for myself. There it is. So innocent. into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Okay, so it's a end game. We will end this one way or another, in death, thraldom, or freedom. Freedom! Finish your business here before you proceed. The Brain will be waiting for us. Of course. Cortez key. Huge amount of grenades, a bit of gold. <laughs> 